we had previous shots of the Mexican Bigfoot. This is a Mexican Bigfoot that has made the pass from Mexico to California. Once again, Mark Anders trackers bring you the finest in Bigfoot photography. This is literally less than a quarter mile from the Pacific Crest Trail. The Pacific Crest Trail being a natural migrational route for the Mexican Bigfoot. Over the edge of this is down into the valley of the Borrego Desert. We're speculating here that they're coming up for food. Bigfoot is mere feet away from just a giant canyon. Literally, it's a ridge that drops off directly into the desert. He is in a very wooded area right now, but he's looking over a desert area. Well, I'm saying he's probably coming up from the desert. And why would they come up from the desert? For food. Now, in this area, what kind of food do they have? I know they have cows. We, there are deer in the area. In fact, I ran into a deer a, f a number of years ago in this very area. But there, uh, there explain, are ranchers. Explain, explain. Where I was uh, cruising down the road. I was helping out as a volunteer with runners up on this Pacific Crest Trail, in fact. And I was headed home. It was like 3.30 in the morning. And uh, this was a 24-hour run they were doing. And uh, a deer jumped, leaped right from the side of the road, smack right into my truck. Oh, really? Did it wreck yeah. Your, it wrecked your truck? Oh, I put a nice dent in my truck, and the and the deer just kept going. Boom! Okay, now it's established. They have deers in there. Do they also have mountain lions in there? Yes, they oh, do. Oh, are you kidding me? Absolutely. I mean, this is filled with mountain lions. Rattlesnakes. Abs oh, I killed a rattlesnake over six and a half feet long. thing was... It was like a gorilla, the strength of a gorilla. It took me about a half hour to kill it. And on an ending note for this episode, we got, we're up against a hard break. We know for a fact that they have plenty of cows in this area. There's ranchers all over the place. Are they grass-fed cows? They're absolutely grass-fed, the highest quality beef you can get in California. And there's plenty of rabbits. There's coyotes. There is enough for this Bigfoot to sustain well, a Bigfoot in this area. how many cows can a Bigfoot eat?